Good morning. It is Wednesday, February 24th, 2016, and this is my week eight update from a countdown to competition. Uh, the Green Mountain Thaw is happening on March 13th, which is a Sunday, the day before my birthday, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, this is week eight, so we literally have like less than 20 days left. Um, until we get on that stage and so I'm doing pretty good last week. I had a lot of self-doubt issues um, I was starting to feel really disappointed in myself wishing that I was a lot further along than I had been um, but um, I quickly picked myself up and said pity party go away You know, I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, I've come so far. I should be proud of where I am at this point um, I may not be where I want to be, but I also shouldn't be setting my expectations so high. Um, I feel like the people that I'm competing against have been at it for a number of years, and so I should not really be, um, doubt, you know, doubting myself at this point. I've only, this is only my second, you know, com competition, um, and certainly there's only room to go up and have more for improvement, right? So my goals at this point are just to do the best I can, um, kill every workout, make every rep count, um, eat all my foods, um, follow everything that my coach and trainer is telling me to do as far as um, my nutrition goes. I know that that is 100% going to be the key to my success. I'm um, still waiting for my behind to kick it into gear, um, but I'm really starting to see a lot of changes um, in my obliques and my stomach, which is huge. Um, so uh, that's exciting. And um, so I'm really looking forward to things um, on a personal level. Some things have changed and shifted um, in our household and we ha are getting ready to put our house on the market and sell to move up to New Hampshire. Um, it's something that we've been thinking about for a really long time and talking about, um, but uh, really have not put the wheels into motion until now. And it just seems like it's, it's a great time for us to transition the kids out of school. So we're gonna let them finish out the school year and then we'll go up to um, the lake and stay with my mom until uh, we figure, we're hoping to build. So we're, we're hoping the point uh, we'll stay with her until we build uh, something within a year is the other hope and uh, be able to enjoy the lake this summer and and then enroll the, the kids into school in September. So with that happening, we have a lot going on, and so I need to have the house pretty much packed up and ready to show um, before my competition because we're away that weekend uh, for the competition, and then I'm home for a few days before we go to Florida uh, for Easter to see my mom and sister. So, um, And they're going to put the house on the market while we're away. So I only have these next couple of weeks um, to get everything ship shape. We had a stager come through and tell us um, optimally what we need to be doing for our house to make it, you know, a person's dream to buy, right? And so that really includes removing a lot of personal items, um, which is fine with me. I'm totally good with packing up. Um, it's just going to save me a lot of steps later, right? So um, it's both good and bad because I'm, I'm thinking, okay, should I be stressed out? But at the same time, I'm really excited to get this process going because I want to get out of here and I want to start our new phase of life um, up there in New Hampshire. And um, so it also is going to take the focus off of me worrying about the next meal. Um, if you've ever uh, talked to anybody or done any prep uh, for a competition yourself, you know that you're pretty obsessive by the end with your food and when the next meal is. Um, the, the calories are starting to be restricted now which it, I'm not starving by any means um, it's just less and less um, and I'm totally functioning with my workouts great and I'm have I'm, I'm still doing great uh, with all of that um, but you really are focused on when the next meal is it's kind of a little bit obsessive towards the end um, but it's fine it's it's not um, anything that's derailing me from my regular life uh, as of yet so I'm still doing well um, but so I'm thinking that this is a good thing because then I can be focused on cleaning up the house and taking things down personal effects packing up and not being focused on when the next meal is and instead just eat when I need to um, so that's great um, I'm excited and we have a lot going on and my progress is great um, I'm just really loving this experience with this trainer um, this uh, there's a lot of ways to skin a skin a cat right so if you're thinking about um, looking to compete or uh, the process of the idea of um, you know taking your physical body to the next level to be stage ready um, you know explore your options um, 
I didn't really know any better, so I kind of chose an option that was just avail available to me. And while it was a great first experience, um, there's, an, there's a lot of ways to go about it. So I'm excited that I found um, my coach and trainer that I have now and the team of girls I'm a part of now. And this is just going to be that much better of an experience for us uh, together. So I'm looking forward to that and our future um, this fall, I'm going to be competing again, and so that's really exciting to just challenge myself. Um, I'm just the type of person that likes to look for the next challenge, so um, this is kind of a really great stepping stone for me. I'm, I've got a lot of highs and coming up, uh, you know, as I said, um, I've got this competition, and then we're headed off to Florida for um, a couple of days, and then we'll start to hopefully um, unload the house, move up to New Hampshire, really enjoy our summer, and transition the kids to their new school year, and settle in up there. Uh, uh, next uh, fall and winter and um, you know I'll, I'll be ready in the fall for um, my next competition so looking forward to that so it's, it's a great week it's I'm doing really well and I'll check in with you guys again next week if you have any questions or comments please let me know subscribe to my channel follow my progress and I'll make sure to upload some pictures of, of me on stage the, on the big day and maybe take some video of us behind uh, the scenes and backstage um, so that you can get a little bit of a taste of what it's all about I appreciate your support and your guidance following me through this journey. Have an amazing week.